What's up, beautiful people? It's Emmanuel. It's Adrian Threet here with Hope Vibes. And we just want to come and give you an update on what's been going on with Hope Vibes, what's been going on with us in our personal life, and just really encourage you all to continue to support the mission and vision of Hope Vibes so that we can continue to help as many people as we can. So first off, personally, what's been happening with us? Well, in December, we had triplets. Three. That's right. Three little babies. Three babies was grown in my stomach. Yes. And they so, were born. Yeah, they were born. On the 8th <laughs> of December. <laughs> and as such, our lives have been like turned totally upside down. Yes. And we've had to kind of try to find our new rhythm to life. We couldn't, you know, stick to what things were in the right, past. Right. We are still in the process of kind of finding our new normal and just what life looks like with triplets and family and nonprofit and church and yeah. extended family and friends and all the things. It's it's just been a a wild, interesting journey like every other part of our life. Right, right. <laughs> and so you might be thinking and asking yourself, well, I still see you all or hope vibes out and about. Who's doing that? What's happening with that? We have a great team. Yes. We have a team of people that help us. Uh, shout out to Earl Lake. He is our operations manager. He does and makes sure that the Hope Tank and the Innovation Hub is set up properly. Things are running smoothly. Uh, he's an amazing, amazing uh, part of the Hope Vibes team. Um, there's also individuals like Jamira Ortiz. Yeah. She is our special initiatives coordinator. She's doing some amazing work on helping us think through our expansion plan. Yes, we are even expanding to other cities yeah. with triplets. That's the kind of stuff that God got us through going on right now. So uh, then we have um, our finance coordinator, Allie Horn. She is uh, helping us out and doing amazing work. And then we got a virtual assistant. Um, Ashlyn, I don't even know Ashlyn's last name. What? what? I just Ashlyn Phil. I just see Ashlyn. I just see Ashlyn, Ashlyn come up. I love you, girl. Yeah, 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 I yeah, yeah. You. This summer we're having interns. So I just know that things are continuing to move forward. We are as a, a family determining, hey, how life looks like, but know that Hope Vibes itself is still thriving and actually probably doing better in the scope of the work and the mission that we do than we have. Um, from the beginning where I mean it's still the same drive and and seeing hearts and minds and and uh, the ability to serve others and hygiene items and hope tanks all of that oh oh yeah yeah Wait. yeah 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 you gotta tell them you gotta let them know so you gotta we let them know. got exciting news get it get it last week last week we signed our names on the dotted line yes. for HT2. HT2. You know what that is? Hope Tank 2. Yes, we are getting our second Hope Tank. Yeah. So we just ordered our, our next like box truck yeah. to build out our new Hope Tank that is for the Triad region. Shout out to John and Magdalia Basilio. They oversee <laughs> our operations in the Triad area and they have been working diligently to raise funds for yeah. the Hope Tank in the Triad region. Yeah. That covers, initially we'll start off in Winston-Salem, but then that will also extend into servicing the population of people experiencing homelessness in Greensboro and High Point. So we are super excited to yes. be able to this time next year, there'll be another Hope Tank on the street. Yes. And so we are super excited to be growing in that way, thanks to the help of our team. Yes, and that is the biggest thing we want you guys to know is that our team is here, it's growing, and we are consistently looking for ways to work efficiently to make sure that Hope Vibes continues to grow and continues to have the impact that we all know that it can have and should have. I saw an interesting email that came through our inbox um, yesterday, actually, yeah, yeah. of a very well-known national shower provider, mobile shower provider um, that's based out of California. And they are shutting down their operations this year. Yeah. Like, as of, like, I believe this month, they're shutting down 90% of 90%, their operations. Yeah. And then I believe by the end of the year or something like that, the other 10% may potentially yeah. be dissolved as well. 
and it's all because of a lack of funding. Right. right. And this organization provides so much um, value, value and resources to people in California yeah. and across the nation. Yeah. And I begin to think to myself, like, what do we as an organization here in North Carolina, founded in North Carolina, but expanded to other areas, what do we have to do to avoid being in a similar position ever? in the trajectory of um, Hope Vibes. And I think it all comes down to, like you said, taking this this initiative that we have birthed um, as a community thing. Like it's not a right. Manny and Adrian thing. Right, right. It is a hope movement right. um, that we've built that you all are a part of. And so we invite you to level up level your commitment up. to the mission yeah. of Hope Vibes and the people that we serve through volunteering, um, you can volunteer, sign up on our website yep. through giving, become a monthly partner, yep. um, share with others about our mission and the people that we serve and the value of the impact. Mm -hmm. Share with your your workplace, your churches, mm -hmm. your, your social groups yep. so that they can get involved. And then buy merch, yep. like wear the Give Hope Daily shirts, tell about the, the mission behind those shirts. Um, and I mean, just look fly. Yeah, the shirts are they they, they they get super fly. They dope out here. I was gonna say that. Hey, yeah. you, gotta, you gotta say <laughs> you broke it down very well. I think it's important that we, as a community of give hope beings, we know and understand that this is a mission. This is a journey that is not walked alone. This is not just us. This involves you too. When we say give hope daily, that is a call to action for any and everybody who uh, loves the mission and vision of Hope Vibes. So we invite you to level it up with us. Yep. This is not us, this is us. us. Let's, we, okay. we don't level it up. I mean, we yeah, already leveled us, it up three times. Yeah. Just to let you know, we leveled it up already Yo, three times. Have y'all seen our cute babies? They're cute. <laughs> I'm going to post them. They're cute. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be seeing them at a serve day near you in the yes, near future. Yes. They have gone to a serve day. Yes. They loved it. We just ask that if you come to a serve day and you see the babies, don't touch. Just yeah, yes. say hi, cute yes. little baby. Yes. I mean, you would want to because they're that <laughs> cute. But yeah. Thank you so much for journeying with us over these last few years. We yes. started in 2017 yeah. and it's been a wild ride we never imagined that we would be where we are today as an organization and having the impact that we're having and again that's not because of just us it's right. because of us yeah and so invite somebody along the journey with us so that we can have greater impact all right this is it bye